Hello, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My name is Norazizah binti Muhammad, science teacher from SK Jalan 4, Bandar Baru Bangi. Today, we are going to learn about a very interesting topic which is magnets. Okay, I hope that you are ready with your textbook, notebook and stationery. Very good! Today, I'm wearing a name tag to introduce myself. This name tag is easy to stick on my clothes and it does not fall off. This is because it uses magnets. Wow! It's like magic, right? Are there any uses of magnet in our daily life? Of course there are. But, before we explore more about magnets, let's first look at our learning objective today. This is important so that we can all make sure that what we learn today is in line with the standard curriculum outlined by the Ministry of Education Malaysia. In other words, what we learn is the same as all the other friends across the country. Nothing is left behind. Let's take a look. The learning objective for today are we have to give examples of the usage of magnet in daily life to identify the shapes of magnet, the reaction of magnets to various objects, to conclude the magnets attract or repels between two poles and to determine the strengths of magnet towards objects. This is the learning objective that we need to achieve at the end of this learning session. Do you want to explore it now? Great! Let's start! Okay, let's continue exploring the uses of magnets in our daily lives. Let's look at the refrigerator. The refrigerator door is quite tight to open. Why? This is because the refrigerator door has a magnet to keep it tightly closed. So, the food stored in the refrigerator is definitely safe to eat and can stay fresh for a long time. Can you name the other objects that use magnets? Yes, that's right. The pencil box. The pencil box has a magnet. So, it can be tightly closed, just like a refrigerator. The stationery in a pencil box can be stored well and will not come off. So, it is easy to carry anywhere. The chest set also has the magnet as well as chest pieces. It helps the movement of chest pieces and does not fall easily. It is also easy to store and less messy. Is there another object that uses a magnet? Huh, there must be. The screwdriver also has a magnet at its end. The screw to be installed or fixed will be attached to the end of this screwdriver and make it easier for the screwdriver to carry out its task. The woman's handbag also has a magnet on the cover. This is 
to ensure the safety of the valuables in the handbag. Try to imagine if no magnets are used in our daily life. Imagine a refrigerator door without a magnet. It will not be tightly closed. The food in it will also be quickly spoiled and unsafe to eat. So, we should appreciate the uses of magnet around us. How is it? Yes, that's right. We have to take good care of it as best we can. So that the magnetic force present on the objects does not disappear and is not easily damaged. Now, do you want to know the shape of magnets? Say after this. Magnets come in various shapes. Today, I will show the six shapes of magnets. The first shape is a bar magnet. Its shape is similar to a chocolate bar. Yum! The second is the U-shaped magnet. The shape like the alphabet U. This shape is quite popular and used in many school laboratories. The third is called a ring magnet. It is called that because of its similar shape to a ring. Hmm, is there any other object that is shaped like this? Oh yes, that's right. Even the loop has the same shape as this. The force is a cylinder magnet. It is cylindrical in shape. The shape looks like a battery. This magnet usually uses in school laboratory. The fifth is a horseshoe magnet. Have you ever seen a horse footprints? Ha! This is what it looks like. This shape is applied to this magnet. And the sixth is the button magnet. Another name for this magnet is a round or circular magnet. It is in the shape of circle. These magnets are usually found in bags, handbags, and name tags. Have you ever seen all the shapes of magnets mentioned earlier? Okay, let's do it again. The first is bar magnet. Second is U-shaped magnet. The third is ring magnet. The fourth is cylinder magnet. The fifth is horseshoe magnet. And the last one is button magnet. Ha! These shapes of magnets are very interesting, right? If you all want to know, these magnets can attract the objects. Do you want to see them? See you after this. Magnets can react to objects around them. How does it react? It can attract objects. Wow! This magnet is really great. Can all objects be attracted to magnets? 
Let's do an activity to see objects that can be attracted to magnets. You can do this activity at your place. Let's start. We have a bar magnet, a piece of Lego, a marble, a satay stick, a needle, a key, and a paper clip. Firstly, we put an object on the table. Then, we put a magnet near to the object. Oh wow! Can you see the objects attracted to the magnet? The movement is very fast. So now, we look at objects that are attracted to magnets and objects that are not attracted. Can you make an observation about this magnetic reaction? Alright, we do it together. A needle, a track. A satay stick, does not attract. A key, a track. A marble, does not attract. A paper clip. A track. A piece of Lego does not attract. Let's move the information in this observation box into the classification table. Can you list the objects that are attracted and objects that are not attracted? to a magnet in one table? Good! Let's do it now! Objects that are attracted to magnets are needle, key, and paper clip. Objects that not attracted to magnet are satay stick, marble, and a piece of Lego. From the classification table, what can you conclude about the magnet reaction? Yes, good conclusion. The magnet can attract the objects, but not all of the objects can attract by magnets. Hmm, what kind of object actually can be attracted by magnet? Correct! Objects such as thumbtacks, iron nails, scissors, and iron spoons can be attracted by magnets. Don't you think our activity just now was interesting? You must want to know more about, about this magnet, right? Earlier, we talked about objects that can be attracted to magnets and objects that cannot be attracted to magnets. Now, we want to know what will happen if the magnets are brought closer to each other. Ha! Huh, it must be fun! Let's explore. Let's take a look at this bar magnet. This magnet has poles at both ends. Poles? Yes! 
Let us see. There are the letters S, N, N there. S means South Pole, while N means North Pole. Both ends of this magnet have a stronger attract force than the center of the magnet. So, what happens if two magnets are brought together? Ha! Huh, this is interesting. Let us observe it together. If the polar magnet N is attached to the polar magnet S, it will attract each other and stick together. Wow! That's amazing! But, if the polar end is approached with another polar magnet end as well, it will repel each other. It cannot join directly. The same goes for S polar magnets with other S polar magnets. Also repel each other. Let us remember the keywords for this observation. Different poles must be attracted and same poles must be repelled. So, what is the conclusion? Yes, good! Different polar magnets will attract each other while the same polar magnets will repel each other. Magnets also have the different strengths. Wow! Let's explore. Let's explore more about magnets. As I've told you earlier, a magnet has strength. Now, we will see which magnets are stronger and able to attract any object within a distance. Let us do a simple experiment. Here we have a U-shaped magnet, a button magnet, a bar magnet, a ring magnet, a ruler, and some paper clips. We place the paper clips at the side of the ruler. We arrange them in one row. Then, we place the magnets at the same distance in front of the paper clips. After that, we move the magnets closer to the paper clips. We stop moving the magnets once the paper clips are attached to the magnet. Can you see the magnets attract the paper clips from different distances of attraction? Let us do our observation. Look at the magnets. Which magnets can attract the paper clip from a distance. The U-shaped magnet and the bar magnet can attract the paper clip from the furthest distance compared 
to the other magnets. It means the U-shaped magnet and the bar magnet are stronger than the other magnets. From the experiment, we can conclude that different shapes of magnets have different strengths. What about the strength of magnets with the same type and size? For example, we can test the same size of two bar magnets. We name them as bar magnet A and bar magnet B. Let us see. As you can see, bar magnet A can attract the paper clip from a further distance than bar magnet B. It means bar magnet A is stronger than bar magnet B. From the experiment, we can conclude that the same shape with the same size of magnets also have different strengths. These magnets are really great. It can stick and it's strong. It's really interesting to learn about magnets. Soon, we will do a review and a few exercises to help you understand better. You have explored five important contents about magnets. Now, let's review your understanding of our lesson earlier. Come on, try to answer the question. It's easy. If you really pay attention, you will be able to answer all the following questions correctly. Are you ready? Great! Question 1. Name this magnet. Observe the shape. Yes, that's right. The answer is bar magnet. Now, question two. Name the magnet. Observe the ship. Very good. The answer is U-shaped magnet. All right, now. Question 3. Which of the following has magnet? A. A pencil box or B. Sharpener Yes, very good. The answer is A. Pencil box Alright. Now, let's try question 4. Which of the following objects can be attracted by magnets? A. Eraser or B. Paper clip Uh-oh! Look it carefully. The answer is not eraser. Yes! The answer is B. Paper clip. And now, question 5. What happens if these two magnets are put close together? A. 
it will repel each other or B it will attract each other yes good job the answer is A it will repel each other now we go to the last question a stronger magnet can attract a paper clip from a distance. True or false? Excellent! The answer is true. Alright, these are the only questions that I have prepared for you. I'm proud of your efforts and ability to answer all the questions correctly. Now, let us repeat the important facts in this topic. To make this lesson more interesting, make an I think foam map on a piece of A4 paper. Draw a medium circle. Then, write the title Magnets in the circle. Fill in around the circle with facts such as 6 types of magnets, objects that can be attracted to magnets, the usage of magnet and the ability of magnets to attract and repel between one another when approached. You can write it neatly with your colored pencils. Then, use a memo magnet and stick it on the refrigerator door at home. Finally, the usage of magnets in our daily lives is very important to help us perform tasks more easily. There are six shapes of magnets. They are called bar magnet, U-shaped magnet, horseshoe magnet, ring magnet, cylinder magnet, and button magnet. Magnet can attract objects, but not all objects. Different poles will cause the magnets to attract each other. Same poles will cause the magnets to repel each other. Different magnets also have different strengths. I hope you are really understood and can follow our lesson today. Maybe after this, you can be more appreciative of environment and take better care of items that have magnets in your home. That's all. Take care and enjoy learning. Assalamualaikum. Goodbye.